video but hopefully I'm gonna start getting back into it um, today is actually January 19th so yesterday Georgia Tech's early action admissions came out and um, so if you're watching this and you got in congratulations that's a really big accomplishment and if you're watching this because you are waiting to hear back for regular decisions in March good luck I wish you the best since admissions came out yesterday I kind of wanted to do a video about why I chose Georgia Tech and also what I wish I knew before committing so kind of the good things that stood out and then also things that weren't really what I expected so I hope this gives you like insight whether you're deciding to go to Georgia Tech between some other schools or if you're just a prospective student um, wanting to apply if you're a prospective student I also made a how I got into Georgia Tech video and I think that was actually really informational it's got a lot of positive feedback so I'll put it in the description box below and then if you're new here hi my name is Mira I'm a second year student at Georgia Tech and I make a lot of um, academic Georgia Tech related videos so if you want to see more make sure to like and subscribe so just some context I'm an out-of-state student from California I applied early action and for the major of industrial design and I did get an early action I have a lot of more context in my how I got in video if you want to go watch that but also with some more context um, when I was applying Georgia Tech was my number two school um, I guess on like competitiveness I did apply to Stanford but I did not get in obviously but just for some context I was also considering um, UIUC, UC Santa Barbara, UC San Diego, University of Cincinnati and then I was waitlisted at UCLA and UC Berkeley um, I actually committed before Berkeley and LA came out, so I didn't opt in on the waitlist, and I'll kind of explain why I committed to Georgia Tech so fast. So first I'm going to talk about the good things of why I chose to go to Georgia Tech and kind of good things that I've seen throughout my two years here. First, I was a little different story because I was applying specifically to schools with product design programs because that's what I knew I wanted to do. Um, and I really liked Georgia Tech because it had a very strong ID curriculum um the major is only 75 students per year so it's very um one-to-one -one. all my classes have been like 25 students each which has been good to get like feedback and talk to the professors and then also a huge reason why i chose georgia tech is because um the industrial design major is a bachelor of science at georgia tech whereas most of the places it's a bachelor of fine arts so i knew that having a bachelor of science would provide me kind of advantage when going into like the tech industry and everything. So coming from California, another couple of reasons why I chose to go to Georgia Tech, um, I really like that it's in a very urban environment. So Georgia Tech is basically in like the heart of Atlanta. Atlanta's a really convenient city in the sense that it's pretty small, so you can walk pretty much anywhere um, or take an Uber for like a couple of dollars. Um, I really like how Georgia Tech is basically in the downtown, but when you're on campus, it's actually really quiet and there's a lot of like trees and everything so it doesn't feel like you're in like the city but yeah it's a really convenient location um there's also trolleys that take you kind of into midtown but like you can walk to piedmont park cvs emory hospital um there's a lot of good restaurants and everything so the convenience and the location is definitely great another reason why i chose to go to georgia tech um even though it's in the south is that it's pretty diverse in the sense that um there's a lot of international students, a lot of out-of-state students because it is a tech school, so you kind of get a new perspective. Um, I'm from the Bay Area, so I've kind of been used to like this diversity, um, but I know for people who live in Georgia who go to Georgia Tech, it's definitely a new thing, and I think it's a good thing. Also, on the convenience factor, like um, they have MARTA, which is a public transportation that doesn't get you that many places, but like when I fly into the Atlanta airport, I can actually take that straight to Georgia Tech and it's only $2.50, so that's really convenient too. Some other good things about Tech is that the degree is very prestigious and valuable, especially in Georgia. If you say you go to Georgia Tech, people like automatically assume you're smart, so you definitely have like some sort of advantage applying to like Atlanta internships and companies because they know what your school is and then also um, going to Georgia Tech you're around a ton of ambitious people um, you're around so many like 
engineers, computer science majors, um, innovators, business people, basically people who are trying to like make it big and make a difference in the world so it is pretty inspiring to be around all those people who have already done so many things another reason why i like georgia tech is that there are really good resources as in like if you have an idea um for like a project you can make it happen um since i'm in the college of design we have our own like wood shop with tools and everything but um there's actually something called the invention studio which is open to any georgia tech student and you can go in with an idea like you want to make a chair or you want to laser cut something or 3d print something and people there will help you and um, i've seen a lot of people make pretty cool projects so being at like this hub for innovation you can kind of make a lot of things and i think that's really cool also they have like paper and clay which is like a ceramics um, store where on Friday sometimes they have free activities so that's really cool um, I have like painted coasters, I have painted mugs, um, dishes so it's kind of cute also if you're a CS major or an engineering major there are really huge career fairs at Tech I think in September and then January um, tons of big companies will come and if you go to the career fair and you talk to like a recruiter you definitely can get like an advantage on applying for an internship um i will say the downside is if you're like a design major or a lmc major there isn't really a career for like catered toward you which kind of sucks um i haven't gone to one i'm sure it doesn't hurt to go to one and like ask if they have openings for other jobs though also a reason that I really like Georgia Tech is I know professors vary a lot, but I've honestly had a pretty great experience, at least with like my math professors. Um, other professors, maybe not so much, um, but like the professors I've had are very caring. I always am the type of person to go to office hours, so they'll help me. Um, I honestly do think they support the students really well, and it's honestly changed my perspective on math. I actually became a calculus like session leader so that was really cool and then kind of like the last reason i chose to go to georgia tech was to just go out of my comfort zone um moving across the country with not knowing really anyone i thought that it was a really good opportunity to grow i honestly do think i grew and i matured a lot so that's just another reason why i decided to go to georgia tech and i am an out-of-state student with a very specific major so i kind of had those kind of reasons to go a lot of my in-state friends um, obviously go to Georgia Tech because um, like Hope and Zell scholarships so you actually can get like free tuition if you keep a certain GPA so going to Georgia Tech for basically free besides paying housing um, to get a really valuable education that's definitely like a reason to go I know if I lived in Georgia and I got into Georgia Tech with a scholarship um, I pretty much like choose it in a heartbeat because it's so much more affordable so those were some good things about Georgia Tech, kind of what I was thinking of while I was deciding. Um, now I'm going to talk about some things I wish I knew before committing. Um, and just a disclaimer, like I'm not affiliated with like Georgia Tech. These are just my own opinions and take them with a grain of salt because everyone has a different experience at Tech. And also I'm not trying to like bad mouth Georgia Tech. I ultimately am glad that I chose to go there, but... Um, there are some things like you're gonna be unhappy with like basically at any college the first thing is um, as you may know Georgia Tech has a very heavy course load so it kind of varies with your major um, I'm a design major my first semester I was taking only 14 credits which isn't that much but I was in eight classes which was insane because it's not as much the workload I guess it's more of managing eight classes at a time um engineers usually have like four to five classes because theirs are like valued at more credits which also i think is kind of i don't know like my studio was worth two credits but i was like building things and spending hours on it so i wasn't super happy about that but yeah like my friends at other universities take like three classes a semester and they're like chilling and have so much more free time um so yeah georgia tech is pretty heavy course load like if you breeze through high school um, get ready to learn how to work. I do know a lot of people who didn't try in high school but just got by. They really struggled in the first semester with their work ethic. Another thing is since there's so much of a workload, it's kind of hard to minor in something as, or especially double major in something if you haven't come in with a lot of credits or you don't take summer classes. Like I 
I'm averaging 16 credits a semester to graduate in four years with just one major, no minor, which is kind of a lot. Like I'm taking six classes every semester to graduate on time. A lot of people do take five years, so that's definitely something to think about. Something else I learned because I am a design major, so it's pretty hands-on, is that there is a steep learning curve. Um, they do teach you like foundations, I guess, but they go through it pretty quickly, so they kind of expect you to either know it or like to learn outside of class. So um, that was really hard for me the first semester. Um, I do think after you get through the weed out classes, and especially like after your first semester of second year, like classes do get a lot more manageable. So yeah, Georgia Tech is known to have pretty hard classes, but that's not saying that it's like impossible. I've gotten A's in classes that like had under 3.0. OGP average and like I've gotten A's on like tests that have averaged with like D's so it's not impossible you just have to put in a lot of work. The next point I'm gonna try to say in like the nicest way possible but um the food just like is not it um it's not like UCLA fine dining food like I will have to say at least when I was in my freshman year and I had to have the meal plan that the food was pretty bad um I think they changed like companies so I don't know if it's better now but and the majority of my freshman year I was eating really unhealthy just like American food like mediocre burgers and like stuff like that and a lot of times they were out of silverware and out of food so um, food definitely was not great at all. Um, I'm really glad now that I'm a sophomore I make my own food which I don't really know how to cook but um, if that says anything that I think my cooking's better um, than the dorm food, then that's just that. I also forgot to say a good thing about Georgia Tech is the campus is really nice. Um, the farthest walk you're ever going to have to do for a class is like 20 minutes, so it's really convenient. But the bus system is not very reliable. It is helpful when it's like raining and stuff, but they're usually always late or just never show up. Another thing I wish I knew is that it would be kind of hard to foster community. Um, I guess Georgia Tech has like a stereotype where like everyone's just like hardworking and antisocial. I definitely don't think that's the case. I've met tons of like super outgoing people who also like work hard and have a social life. So I think that is kind of not true. But um, at least for me in my freshman year, I lived in a dorm that was primarily students um, in Greek life. So I did not join Greek life. Um, but yeah, since people in Greek life and they're really busy with like the fraternities and sororities there wasn't really like a community in my dorm which i definitely wish there had been um i lived on east campus which is more of like this we'll say it's like the more social whatever but i know people on west campus um definitely are less involved in greek life so if you kind of want that community maybe um try living there or something yeah i'm not saying like social life is impossible like you definitely can join like a club or organization you're passionate about or if you're into Greek life I think that's definitely a good way to meet people. Another thing I wish I knew before going to Georgia Tech is like kind of like the reality of like the stigma and stereotype. Um, this is honestly probably the biggest problem I have about tech. Um, if you've heard of tech like everyone says it's really hard and like when you graduate there's like a hashtag that says like hashtag I got out which I think kind of perpetuates like the stigma that um, Georgia Tech will like break you. Um, a lot of people kind of think that if you're not at your breaking point, like you're not trying hard enough. And I think that kind of ties in with people being like really ambitious and also there being a lack of like mental health services. Like I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I have tried to go to the counseling services there, but they basically turned me away and um, said that there was enough space for me. So. Uh, maybe it was the timing, not trying to blame them, but um, there is like a really big stigma at tech. I've heard people try to compete on like how little sleep they've gotten or like how much they've studied. And I think that's really unhealthy. It makes you always feel like you're not trying hard and not, you're not using your time productively enough, which um, if you're in like an unstable mindset, that definitely can be like detrimental. And then there's also like a major hierarchy. I'm sure you've heard. Um, like a lot of engineers and CS majors not saying like their major is not hard or anything because it is really hard like I can never do it but um kind of that like they're the hardest majors and then like college of design is kind of like not as hard which I think all majors are hard in their own way and then like the business school being like 
stereotyped as like where you go if you fail out of engineering so um, I don't really like that that much but that's just kind of how it's like always been which I really hate um, the fact that like people can't adapt and everything but that's definitely like the number one thing I don't like about Georgia Tech um, if you don't like choose to give into that like I do think you won't have a problem yeah so I know it's kind of harsh at that point like I said please take it with a grain of salt like this is just my perspective um i'm sure other people have had like amazing experiences there's those are just like some things i wish that weren't the case also if you're familiar with my channel um in my freshman year i was going through a lot of health issues and my professors were really supportive and everything but um the actual like services for like disabilities and um like undiagnosed health issues wasn't great now i have a diagnosis so i am able to register with like the offices for accommodations but you know every college is not perfect and then yeah my last point is that since it is a very tech heavy school you don't really get the whole college feel as in the sense that there's like humanities majors and social science majors um i definitely think you lose out on that perspective um, especially being a non, like, st I guess STEM major in a very small college, um, you often feel like you're just around, like, engineers and CS majors, um, which isn't, like, a bad thing, like, most of my friends are engineers and CS majors, I just think it would be, like, nice if there were more, but obviously I knew that going into tech that I was going to be at a very STEM heavy college, so that's just that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you like learned something from this video. And again, please don't take it like too seriously when you're like deciding like to go there or not. Like I, even though I have some things I don't like about it, like I still am glad that I went and I wouldn't really change my decision. I guess another factor is I went in for physical product design, um, but now I'm kind of more interested in UX design. So Changing majors is really easy at tech. You can do it pretty much no problem. Um, I just will not do that because I've taken so many studio classes and those would not transfer into any other majors, so that would be kind of a waste. Um, and that's also kind of something I wish like I knew. Um, there aren't that many like UX design classes at tech. I mean, I know that's like really specific, but there's some in like the computational media major, but those are kind of major restricted and then there are some cs classes which i am taking but yeah researches for that aren't like super great um but yeah like i'm able to pivot my career and still get a good degree and yeah like georgia tech is a great school um it's really good for you if you're really ambitious um you want to like work hard in school and like get the reward because i do think like even though i put like so much work into my classes i do feel like i get rewarded at the end so i personally don't mind that i know some people may not want as challenging of an environment but like i said overall i'm glad i chose georgia tech and i hope that you learned something and maybe this reinforced your decision but i don't want to like make you less confident into committing if that makes sense uh, that's kind of the end of the video i know it's really long sorry i tried to be as like brief as possible but i hope you enjoyed it um if you liked it please like the video and then subscribe for more tech related content and if you have any questions about tech um, please leave them in the comments below like i said i'm only a second year i'm not an expert at all on tech but this is just like my perspective of it so i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one